where so we've installed the system, it's working great, but what happens when we have an issue down the line? How do we troubleshoot on the controller? Sure, and there's different ways you can do that. One, you can do it on the mobile app, or you can do it on the controller. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to do it on the controller. Sure. So the first step we're gonna do is, we're gonna to go to two wire settings. We're gonna press and hold the two arrows, and it's gonna ask us to press plus to ping decoders. Got it. Pinging decoders is sending a signal down the line to each decoder to gather that information to see if it matches what we already have in the controller. Sure. So we're gonna press the plus button and it's gonna start pinging the decoders. Okay. So while it's pinging the decoders, each one of the lights on the decoder is gonna flash with a blue light. If you have a decoder that is not flashing blue, that could be your first indication that you may have an issue in that area or on that decoder. Once it finishes pinging the decoders, then we're gonna go into a different mode and we're gonna view the voltage and then we're gonna view the milliamps. Cool. So as you can see, it says found master valve and zones one through 13, Perfect. which we know is what we have. It also says not found and there are none listed. If it showed not found five through 10, then we know that our problem or our error may be in that area. Perfect. We're gonna press the next button with the right arrow and go into something we call power measure mode. When it goes into power measure mode, it is gonna energize a two wire path mm -hmm. and each one of the decoders blue light is gonna be a solid blue. Ah. At this point, you can walk down the path and you can observe each decoder with their blue light. If a blue light is not on, that should tell you that most probably that decoder is your problem. Got so it. it's showing our voltage at 27 volts and a healthy voltage line on ESP two wire should be somewhere between 26 and 28 volts. Okay. So after we've done that and we're understanding we still have an issue somewhere, we're gonna press this arrow again. First, we're gonna view our milliamps and it's telling us we're we have 125 milliamps. So ESP2 wire decoders are gonna draw about seven milliamps with the light on. And at this point, we're still in power measure mode. So we're gonna be drawing about seven milliamps per decoder times the 14 we have, sure. we're about 125 milliamps. So we're about on path here. So next we're gonna press it and we're gonna actually go into short finding mode. Sure. Once we go into short finding mode, this is when we're gonna take our standard milliamp clamp meter and we're gonna go along the two wire path everywhere there's a decoder and we're gonna clamp onto a single wire of that two wire path to read our milliamps. Got At it. this point, the lights are off and our milliamp draw should be approximately 0.7 milliamps per decoder. Great. Once we finish short finding mode, all we have to do is simply turn the dial to auto and we're back to our regular scheduled program. Wes, it's not as difficult as I thought. I think my guys will be able to handle this. Thank you.